My bank accounts have some of the highest APYs in the world, has no minimums or maintenance fees, and reimburse me every single time I use an ATM. Woo! It's the simple things in life that people often overlook. I've never met any adult without a bank account. But people would tend to stick with these big bank names they are comfortable with and never do research to consider alternatives. Let me name drop a bank I despise, Bank of America. B of A was the very first bank I opened and I had it for over four years. Now this wasn't a big mistake financially, but there are so many better alternatives than B of A. Some of the struggles I faced was that I accidentally went under the $300 minimum for the savings and incurred a $5 fee. I also did a similar thing with the checkings account and I incurred a $35 fee. Like, what the heck? What the heck, Bank of America? <sighs> and they have a dismal interest rate of 0.1%. Not 1%, 0.1%. Maybe you've experienced this yourself and it can be pretty annoying. So let's just dive into the best checkings accounts first. The best all around checkings account is Charles Schwab. It has a 0.4% APY. For those of you that don't know, it's an annual percentage yield, which means you are accruing interest over the year. Honestly, this shouldn't be taken into account when considering a checkings account, because with the nature of a checkings account, you'll be having money enter and exit that account frequently. If you have a large lump of money in your checkings account, there are way better places to put it, such as a high yield savings account or an investment account. This is so that you can actually make money work for you instead of just sitting in a checkings account accruing basically nothing. A Schwab account also has no minimum requirements, has no maintenance fees, and has ATM reimbursements literally all throughout the world. This is extremely useful for people that love to travel because when you go abroad, every time you use an ATM to pull out cash, you'll be hit with an ATM charge. Schwab will just reimburse you for that. They also have no foreign transaction fees. And what's really cool about it is that they will send you a checkings book. So you can write checks, which actually I've never used, but it's super cool. And with other banks, you typically have to buy your book yourself. Some of the downsides include, you'll have to open an investing account when you open your checkings account, but you literally don't have to do anything with this. You don't have to put money in it or invest with Schwab. Of course, they want you to invest with them, but you don't have to. Another thing is that you'll also be hit with a very small deduction in your credit score. This is because Schwab will do a hard credit pull, but your credit score will go back to normal in a short while. The last downside is that they have limited physical branches. So if you're someone that works heavily with a lot of cash, then you should consider another bank where they have a branch in your local area. If Schwab doesn't have a physical branch in your city, the next best thing is to open a bank account where there's a local branch. A bank account that comes very close in Schwab's quality is Capital One 360. With Capital One 360, there is no minimum balance, no maintenance fees, and they give you ATM reimbursements up to $15 per statement. Lastly, if you care about convenience when it comes to banking, you should open a bank account with a credit card company you already have. For example, if you have the Venture credit card, then opening an account with Capital One will simplify your finances because you'll have everything in just one place. So let's move on to savings accounts. So unlike checkings accounts, with savings account, you do care about the APY. This is because most of the time, your savings account will have a large lump sum of money. This is usually meant for emergencies and hopefully you will never have to pull from this. So that's why having a APY of at least 2% is ideal. This is because inflation is typically from 2 to 3% annually. So if your money doesn't grow annually 2 to 3% per year, you are actually losing money because your dollars are worth less than they did last year. With a 2% APY, having $10,000 in that bank account will grow to $10,200 by the end of the year. This is pretty cool, huh? You literally don't have to do anything and your statement shows that your money has grown, even though the value of that money hasn't changed. Inflation is a tricky one. 
Before we go any further, if you're new here, I'm Sean Lay. I make videos that help young professionals make smart financial decisions based on their values every single week. So smash that sub button and give this video a like. The best savings account are banks online. There has been a recent trend to shift all physical branches to the digital world because then they don't have to pay for a physical building and all the overhead that comes with that. This is why online banks are typically more generous in their APY. The number one online savings account is Marcus by Goldman Sachs. This is the one that I personally have. It has about a 2% APY, no minimum balance and no maintenance fees. The user interface of this website isn't glamorous, but who cares? The whole purpose of a savings account is for you to put money in it and just let it sit there. A savings account isn't something that you're checking every single day. You check it every once in a while. So it doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to function and serve you well. The downside to Marcus by Goldman Sachs is that there is no mobile application for this. So expect to be going on your laptop or desktop to check your money. Another thing is that there's no check-ins account with Goldman Sachs. So you're going to have to link your savings account with an external bank like Charles Schwab. Savings account with a better APY include one by CIT Bank. It has a 2.2% APY with a $100 minimum. Now you'll find that bank accounts raise and lower the APY every once in a while. I personally don't think it's worth spending the time to move your savings account to another savings account for a 0.2% gain. Other great savings accounts include American Express National Bank Personal Savings with a 1.9% APY. Another one is Ally with no minimum and Barclays with a 2% APY. Honestly, I think people spend way too much time on choosing a bank account. They always go for the highest APY and they will hop to another bank as soon as another one offers a higher APY. And I think it's just not worth your time. Choose a solid bank, go with it, throw your money into that bank and just let it sit there accruing interest. Hopefully you're never going to have to tap into the savings, which means that you have no emergencies and life is good. I'd also like to recommend your local credit unions. These are nonprofits and typically offer higher APYs and lower interest rates for loans. Now, because these are local credit unions, don't expect a physical branch outside your area. You're gonna to have to dig a little deeper to find out your options around you, but if you're looking to take out a loan in the near future, you should definitely consider credit unions. Be sure to smash that sub button, give this video a like. I'll see you all in the next Money and Minimalism video next week. Peace. Pizza? Thank you.